are considered small. But if the measure is heart, well, then they stand among the tallest. And when tonight's competition is all over, one of these teams will prevail as a champion. Welcome to the top collegiate gymnastics championship in America. It's the Pac-10 Championships, and it's next on Fox Sports Net. They call it the Valley of the Sun, but today all the attention will be under the spotlights inside Wells Fargo Arena. Come on inside on campus at Arizona State University as FSN presents the 2007 Pac-10 Women's Gymnastics Championships. Hi, everybody. I'm Jim Watson alongside Olympic gold medalist Amanda Borden, the Pac-10. Again, one of the best conferences in the country. Five teams in the top 25, and this is always a great meet. That's right. Behind the SEC, the Pac-10 has some of those most dominant gymnastics teams. Of course, Stanford, the defending champs, also ranked fifth in the country. They have junior leadership in Tabitha Yemen, Liz Tricas. However, this year they've picked up freshman sensation Carly Janaga. She is amazing at uneven bars, but more importantly, consistent across the board, posting four events four high scores. She also is from Phoenix, Arizona, so she's going to have a lot of fans in the stands tonight. Yeah, consistency and maturity for Carly Janiga of Stanford. Jamie Lands of Oregon State is coming in a hot gymnast right now, coming off her best all-around of her career. She's the Pac-10 Gymnast of the Week. Well, what makes her so impressive is her consistency. She's the one the team counts on to post, post big scores across the board on all four, all four events. UCLA is once again loaded. Tasha Schweiker carrying the family legacy and the high expectations of the UCLA program with five and titles. Well, she has the experience. She was a 2004 Olympian. She also won this event in 2005. She is probably the most dynamic athlete out on the floor, and she's looking to help UCLA recapture another Pac-10 title. April Boone grew up in Seattle, but she's been in Tempe the last four years, carrying the hopes of the home folks with the third highest all-around in the conference. Well, she's great at the all-around. Her two big events right here, floor, and of course, the balance beam. She posted a 10 on that event this year, but also, ASU's got the hometown advantage. Yeah, they decimated by injury, so a good performance by April Boone can go a long way towards healing the pride of the program. It's a springboard to the regionals and the nationals, the Pac-10 Gymnastics Championships, coming up next from ASU on FSN. Fargo Arena on campus at Arizona State University in Tempe. It's the 2007 Pac-10 Gymnastics Championships on FSN. It is the Pac-10, but only seven teams, of course, fielded in the Pac-10. Four apparatus, so that means three teams are going to have to sit out each time around. Five individual champions, one on each event, and of course, our all-around champion. Defending champion, Tabitha Yim from Stanford. She is here again this year. Let's take a look at our rotations. California gonna start on the vault, then Oregon State on the bars, ASU on the beam, UW on the floor, Arizona Stanford and UCLA sitting out rotation number one. And we will start on the vault with California's Jessica Kelly, who comes in with some momentum. A career high in the all-around last time out. She's going to be performing a ball. We're going to see a lot today. Yurchenko full. A lot of these athletes are very dynamic on this event. So it comes down to the landing. Good form in the air. You can see quite a big step there on the landing. So that will be a tenth, even maybe two tenths on the, de on the deduction. Let's move over to the beam at Arizona State's Cassandra Jacino, 5'1 senior from, from Gresham up near Portland, Oregon. Season high on this, 995. So she's got some skills. Well, this can be such a tough event to start on. You have a lot of adrenaline. You're the hometown team, a lot of pressure. They've actually had one score of a 9175 before her, so that puts even more pressure right there. You can see not what ASU wants right now. That means they'll definitely be counting a score that they didn't really want to be counting on this event. And Amanda, there's two schools of thought, of course, when you're the home folks, you know, you get to sleep in your own bed and it's it's your gym where you practice, but of course there's more distractions, your family and friends around, and it's a home meet, everybody thinks you have an advantage. That's right. A lot of people in the stands watching, and you know, on this event, pressure can be hard to handle, a lot of excitement. A little wobble there on the full turn. They have six athletes up meaning they can drop one score, five scores count. Getting ready for the dismount off the end, gainer pipe, very nice landing. A nice recovery after the bobble early on. You can see it's bothering her, it was in her head throughout the routine, but you just gotta set it aside and worry about it later. Let's go now to the floor exercise, and Ashley Houting, and this is one of the most anticipated routines of the entire afternoon, Ashley Houting, with a 9975 
on the floor last time out. And meet against Seattle Pacific up in Seattle. The highest score, not only in the Pac-10, but the highest score in the nation this year. And this is her event. This is, this is the event. She's very dynamic and very exciting to watch. Something that, the, that we're going to be looking for, of course, is the landings on the tumbling. It can be very dynamic. This first event out, can you control the power is the question. She, she's going through a routine in her mind right now. New head coach at the University of Washington, Joanne Powers. And they struggled a little bit this year. They were just one in five in conference, but getting better as the season wore on and they beat Seattle Pacific in that final meet, looked pretty good in doing it. And Houting individually tied with ASU's April Boone, UCLA's Tasha Schweikert for the best floor exercise average at 9.89. Pass. Opening with a beautiful front double full. Great landing. Gonna turn right around and come back again. One and a half. Front layout half. A little jump there on the landing. It's always so fun to watch college athletes on this event. They have a lot of performance, a lot of facial expression. They're having a great time. Well, especially on the floor, you want your personality to come out, you want to sell it, you want to engage the judges and the crowd, get everybody involved. Beautiful double pike again, right there. That's what makes the difference, those perfect landings. Beautiful leap series showing great flexibility. Nice job. Solid effort by Ashley Howding of the University of Washington. Her coach applauds the effort. Now it's up to the judges, as I mentioned last time out for her, a 9.975, top mark in the nation this year. To the beam, Arizona State's Nicole Harris, a sophomore from Long Beach, New York. And Arizona State has no room for error on this event. That's right, when you have a mistake or you're counting a score you don't want to count, puts added pressure on the bottom of the lineup. Nicole Harris, very experienced, performing in the all-around as well for ASU, so if anybody can handle it, I think she can do it. Right here, flight series, back handspring, full twist, very difficult. Hold on. Nicole Harris has had some success on the beam this year, a 9-9-5-0, which was the, the second best beam score in the Pac-10. Beautiful front aerial, the sheep jump. She has great flexibility, as you can see right there, coming down to the beam. It's been a very solid routine so far. Very nice one and a half turn. All that's left is the dismount. And for a clean landing, round up double full. Very nice. That was a great recovery and will be a big score for ASU. Yeah, not a lot wrong with that routine. And ASU is strong on the beam. We'll talk about that more when we go back. But right now, over to the bars. And Jamie Lands, Oregon State, one of our featured all rounds today. Coming off a huge beat last time out of career in the all-around. Very nice release move, starting the routine off. Like we mentioned, very consistent. Beautiful giant full giant blind. Straddle back handstand. The judges on this event are looking for clear vertical handstands right here. Maybe a little short there. Winding up for the dismount. Beautiful double layout. Slight hot there on the landing. Jimmy Lance, fifth in the Pac-10 this year overall in terms of average on the ball.